Welcome to this video uh, about cones and similarity. Uh, it's a past paper question and one of you asked me to help with this question on my site explainingmaths.com. So please check out my site, all my three resources are there. So have a look at them, um, you will understand maths a little bit better. So what's going on here? This is question C, by the way, already of a rather uh, large question, a paper four question. A different cone, it says, with radius x and a height of y has a volume w. Find in terms of W, and that is in bold, so that's important, the volume of. And the first question, and this is all for one point, so it shouldn't involve too much work. It says, find the volume in terms of W of a similar cone with both radius and height three times larger. Well, what is important, of course, that we are talking about a similar cone. And with similarity, you know you have a scale factor K. And in this case, what is scale factor? How many times bigger is this uh, second cone? Three times larger. So the K, the scale factor is three. It doesn't mean that the volume also is three times larger because you know that when you are talking about area, you have to do the scale factor squared yeah? because you're also talking about centimeter squared. So an area would be nine times as big. And the volume, because it's centimeter cubed, yeah, you do the scale factor to the power 3. So 3 to the power 3, which is 27. So the volume of this similar cone yeah, with a radius and height 3 times larger is going to be 27 times larger than the original cone. That volume was W, so this volume will be 27 times W. Okay, there we go. Second question. Still find in terms of W the volume of a cone of radius 2x and a height of y. So this is no longer a similar cone. Yeah, so we can forget about similarity. This is a new question. But in terms of w, what is the volume of a cone with a radius of 2x? So twice as large, but the height remains the same. Now, in the previous question, they already give you the the how do you call that? The formula for the volume of of a cone. But I think you should know it anyway because a cylinder, the volume of a cylinder. Pi r, uh, pi r squared, huh? area of the circle, times the height. But because it's a cone, you times it by 1 over 3, okay? Because a cone will always fit in 3 times into the cylinder. Anyway, that's the volume of a cone. It's given in the previous question. And then for the original cone, if you would just swap some of those values, because they say it is uh, the radius is x squared and y is the height. So w is 1 over 3 pi x squared y. Okay, so that is just this one. Okay, with a radius of x, so x squared, and the height is y, gives you a volume w. Okay, and now they ask me, in terms of w, what is the volume of a cone of radius 2x and a height of y? Now, I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm just going to swap those values. So, 1 over 3 pi, now the radius is 2x, so make sure you put that in brackets because you have to square the entire 2x times the height, which is still y. And then you will notice that 2x squared, I'll just do times here, is 4x squared times y. And now comparing these two, they're almost the same. 1 over 3 times pi, 1 over 3 times pi, times x squared, times yeah, x squared times y. The only difference is that 4 here. If you would rearrange it, you could put that 4 out because that is all times. Eh? 1 over 3 times pi times 4 times x squared times y. So if I take that 4 out and rewrite it, 1 over 3 pi times x squared times y, then I notice that inside the brackets is w. You see that inside the brackets here in the near for the new cone is the same as W. But I have inside the brackets times 4. So my answer is going to be 4 times W. It's going to be 4 times as big. I hope that was useful. Like and share if it was. And again, check my site explainingmaths.com. And you'll find all my resources nicely organized. Have a good day. Bye-bye.